The Paralympics, originally called the Stoke Mandeville Games, created by Sir Ludwig Gutmann in 1960, began as a way for military veterans with spinal injuries to recover faster after World War II. When the games were first introduced by Sir Ludwig Gutmann, there was a lot of controversy because working with paraplegics was seen as hopeless and depressing, so people were surprised when they saw disabled people going into rehabilitation. Gutmann's goal in creating the Paralympics was social integration for disabled people, and the games helped instill self-respect, self-discipline, a competitive spirit, and camaraderie, which are essential for social integration. How important are games like these to paraplegics? Very important. See, from both the physical and psychological point of view, but uh, the most important is from the point of uh, the, uh, the social reintegration of the paralyzed into society. Sir Ludwig Gutmann introducing the Paralympic Games broke down many stereotypes and barriers for disabled people and how they are viewed as worthless by society. Although many barriers remain, the games allow people with disabilities to compete just like able-bodied athletes and lead a better life. Ludwig Gutmann was a top neurosurgeon in Nazi Germany before he was banned from practicing medicine in 1933 because he was Jewish. After he fled Nazi Germany in 1939, he set up the first specialist treatment center for servicemen in 1944 at Stoke Mandeville Hospital in England. Gutmann began his work with 26 beds. The unit now has 114 and supports around 5,000 outpatients. He had a twinkle in his eye, but he was very stern. You didn't get on the wrong side of him, but underneath it, he was very kind, says Gutmann's former patient, Sally Haynes. Gutmann first organized an archery competition between his patients to help with rehabilitation. The games grew every year, until it became known as the Paralympic Games. The Paralympics offers athletes with disabilities from across the world the opportunity to compete in a sporting event similar to the Olympics. The athletes able to compete are broken down into six categories, amputee, cerebral palsy, visual impairment, spinal cord injuries, intellectual disability, and les ultra, which includes athletes of other disabilities such as dwarfism. As said by Miriam Wilkins, Gutmann championed the concept of early treatment for injured servicemen in specialized spinal units and promoted the use of compulsory sport and physical activities as a form of rehabilitation, integration, and motivation. To this end, he organized an archery contest between 16 disabled patients, and the event was held on July 29, 1948 which coincided with the opening of the 1948 Olympic Games in London. The following year, more events and participants were featured, and the competition was named the Stoke Mandeville Games. The event became international in 1952, and that year Gutmann helped found the International Stoke Mandeville Games Committee. Gutmann revolutionized the treatment of people with disabilities and gave many hope when they thought there wasn't any. Being a former neurosurgeon, Gutmann used many techniques for rehabilitation that had not been tried before. Before Ludwig Gutmann started his work, soldiers paralyzed in the war were brought home in coffin-like boxes and left to die from infected bed sores and urinary tract infections. Gutmann's work was frowned upon because disabled people were viewed as worthless and a hopeless case. This did not stop him. As Ludwig Gutmann said, they could not understand how I could leave Oxford University to be engulfed in the hopeless and depressing task of looking after traumatic spinal paraplegics. Um, as far as disability and disabled sport was concerned, he did change the world. He changed my world out of all uh, recognition because uh, I, I, it gave me so much more confidence. You know, I, I, I knew that I was any equal to anybody uh, and that I wasn't just a second-class citizen. And I went on to, to, take, to have a normal working life, a normal home. Uh, yeah, he, he uh, I don't know where I would have been without him. Leonard Dyan states that the Paralympics will leave behind a legacy of awareness for people with disabilities all over the world. 
awareness will also be built through programs like the Third Paralympic Congress, which will bring together 2,000 people from around the world, including leaders of the disability rights and disabled sports movements. Today, the Paralympics serve as a way for disabled athletes of all kinds to compete against each other and to show that they can do anything an able-bodied athlete can do. Society's view of people with disabilities has greatly changed as a result of the Paralympics, and now over 3.8 billion people watched the games on television, and over 1.2 million tickets were sold for the event. At the first Paralympic Games, there was no media coverage because society feared anyone different from themselves. But at the 2012 Paralympics, there were over 700 reporters at the event. Each year, the amount of athletes competing in the Games grows and grows, and in the 2020 Paralympics, there will be 4,350 athletes from over 130 countries. The Paralympics and Ludwig Gutmann have created many opportunities for disabled athletes and revolutionized the treatment of people with disabilities. Organizations have been formed to advocate for disabled people's rights since the Paralympics were created, such as the International Paralympic Committee. The Paralympics are now the second most popular sporting event in the world. Without Sir Ludwig Gutmann, this could not have been possible. Society formerly saw disabled people as cripples or hopeless cases. Ludwig Gutmann changed society's perception of disabilities and integrated disabled people into society. As Ludwig Gutmann said, If I ever did one good thing in my medical career, it was to introduce sport into the treatment and rehabilitation program of spinal cord sufferers and others severely disabled.